Hey guys, it's Alejandra here. Uh, so one of the questions I often get is around digital organization, uh, specifically how to use Evernote to uh, get organized with documents, photos, uh, receipts, business cards, and so forth. Um, and because I feel like I know a little bit about it. Um, I wanted to call my friend Charles Bird to join me in this video. Um, he So Charles is a certified Evernote consultant and he is like the go-to person um, if you want to know anything about Evernote. So he's going to be joining this video in just a moment um, and he's going to be sharing five ways that we can all use Evernote to get more organized, find things faster um, with the goal of just being more efficient, being more effective at our computer when we're looking for information and so forth. And then if you stay to the very end of this video, which I hope you do, um, because Charles is gonna share some great information, um, but he is going to uh, invite all of us to join a free training he's hosting soon around uh, learning more about how to use Evernote uh, to be more organized and again, just be more efficient and effective. So if you enjoy this video and you wanna know more, you can uh, register for the free training he's going to talk about soon okay all right let's go over to charles what is up guys charles bird checking in with you to share with you five top evernote tips including clearing the clutter of paper overload in your world and using evernote on your mobile device this training begins now do you walk in your office and you're drowning in paper my name's charles bird and i'm going to show you how to kill the chaos of information overload all those little piles of paper that stack up on your desk and they start stacking up so high they collapse into each other so you scoop them off and make little landmines around your office and when you walk in you're like what's going on and when we have a cluttered environment it starts affecting our psychology and we kind of regress into a reactive state and when we're in that mode we're not at our most productive and next thing you know we're procrastinating watching cats play the piano on youtube i'm going to show you how to clear the clutter with your phone to start clearing the clutter out of your physical world and show you how to save it into a system you trust we'll be talking specifically about evernote so you can find whatever you need in five seconds does that sound like an amazing superpower i can assure you it is so many of you have heard of Evernote. There's a large number of you who have Evernote installed right now on your phone or computer. And the fact is most people aren't actually using it. So in that case, you do not have Evernote. What you have is hashtag Nevernote. Nevernote, Nevernote does not come to the rescue very often. Let's head up to the office. I'm gonna show you how to scan something using simply your phone. What is up? We've made it to the office. First off, how do you know what to put in Evernote and what not to? Well, there's something I created called the I dig it, I need it bell. It's the bell that goes off in your head when you recognize something is interesting, important, or actionable. And what does that bell sound like? Well, that's a good question. When you book your flight and the flight confirmation hits your inbox or pops up on your screen, you're gonna hear a bell in your head that tells you this is interesting and important. I'm gonna need this again and the bell sounds like this. That's your cue to save it into a system you trust, which is Evernote. Or what about when you're walking the dog and you get this brilliant idea for your next blog post or YouTube video, you're gonna hear that bell again. The magic of applying Evernote to your life is it helps you capture those internal ideas that pop up in your head at random times. It also helps you capture things from the outside world, from paper documents, receipts, forms, on the cell, on the phone, at work and at home. It helps you capture professional items and personal items in one system you trust. Let's show you how to scan an important piece of paper that rang the I dig it, I need it bell in your head using nothing more than your smartphone. We'll also cover some of Evernote's core features on your mobile device so you can use these right now. It's a best practice to scan a group of pages that go together like an insurance statement. And then if you have some separate business cards or something to pop those in separately. In my system, we'll dig in more in the free training offered at the end of this video, but it is to scan it, tag it, scan it, tag it, scan it, tag it. And when I do scan it, um, I also have a physical stamp. 
that I use so that before something's shredded, if I see it, I'll know that it's been scanned. So let's take a minute and scan a physical paper. So I'm gonna fire up my iPhone. I have the page on my desk. I wanna scan it into Evernote. And all I need is my mobile phone with the Evernote app installed. It's a little icon with the elephant head on it. I'm simply going to press that button. It's going to launch Evernote. And then I'm going to press the plus sign to create a new note. Click the plus sign again and click take photo. So that will fire up the camera. We've got uh, the document there, watch, it will auto scan without me doing a thing. And then I can click save and it's saving it straight into Evernote. It's really that simple. Or what if that brilliant idea pops in your head when you are walking the dog? How do you capture it in Evernote? Well, number one, you launch Evernote. That's a good step. Uh, number two, you simply click the plus sign to create a new note and a new note is created. So we've made a new note. Let's title that note. Let's call it blog post ideas. Then you can start putting in the ideas. How do we know what to tag this? I want to share with you a fun little rhyme I made that makes it easy. Who, what, where, why? Tags are better than apple pie. Cheesy, yes. Will you remember it? For sure. A lot of my clients actually print that out and put it at the top of their monitor. So how do we tag this note so we can pull up anything we need later within five seconds? Well, we simply click the I with a circle around it and we can either add a tag directly or view from a list. What is this note all about? Well, it's about blog ideas. We'll tag it blog and then we'll tag it ideas and we'll click close. So the who, what, where, why makes it easy to figure out what the tag should be. It doesn't mean you need four tags every time. Blog and ideas are all we need to pull this up whenever we'd like. How do we pull up notes later when we need to based on the tags we used? We can go to the all notes section. If we wanna find a note immediately, we simply go to the very top, click on the tag icon, next to the search field and we can search for any tags we'd like. So let's search for blog. And now if we want to filter by a second tag, it lets us do that right now. So I will pop in ideas and then we're going to say cancel to clear the search. It's showing us it's filtering by two tags right now, blog and ideas and I will click done. That's how simple it is to search for a note using tags. So how do you just search for any word across your phone? Well, again, we'd go to all notes and we can search for any word we'd like. Let's search for the city name San Diego. So we're just popping that in the search field. We're gonna click search and it finds it across any note inside of Evernote, whether that's in a PDF whether that's in a Word doc, in a Google doc, or the text within the note. Lastly, I'd like to show you how to capture a website into Evernote using nothing more than your phone. So if we're on a web page and there's something we wanna save into Evernote, it's very simple on your iOS device. Uh, we're gonna scroll down and you'll see this little up arrow with a rectangle around it. We're gonna to touch that and we can choose Evernote to save it into. So I'm clicking Evernote. I can choose from a series of tags right there, or I can simply click save, and it will save that website into Evernote. Next, I will go into Evernote, and there's the note right there. It's syncing as we speak, and I can go in here and tag it. So I just created a tag. And that's how you save a website into Evernote using nothing more than your iPhone. You can eliminate paper from your world. Let's pop back downstairs. I'd like to invite you to something very special. Did you like those tips? Pretty juicy, right? So I'd like to invite all of you to take this to the next level and come to a free training I'm putting on called Information Domination. And here's the magic. It's gonna cover 
all of Evernote's core features and you can join free. Register at the link shown here and you'll be able to join us for this hour-long training. We'll dig into all of Evernote's core features and you'll come out a pro. This will save you time. This will reduce your stress. In fact, it will reclaim back a minimum of three hours a week. And when you add that up, that adds up to 144 hours a year or 18 working days of reclaimed time. Register now. It's definitely going to be worth your while. We'll see you on the training. Thanks.